This week, we're talking about something very clear and simple. Do you know you're loved? We're loved by God. We're loved by our parents. We're loved by our brothers, sisters, family, friends. We have love all around us. And we're going to learn even more about why we're loved. Well, let's get into our prayer and then we'll go straight into our lesson. Hey, love kids. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you humbly. I want to say thank you for my mom, my dad, my sister, and everybody else. I also want to say thank you for the teachers that teach us, and I want you to help them and help me in school. I also want to say help my parents with it, what, what they need, and help the people in the school with the, what they need. I also want you to remove the sicknesses in the name of Jesus, and I also, I also want to pray for peace in the world and not war. And I want to say thank you for everything that you have done and dying on the cross for us and giving us your only begotten son. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and do not lean on your own understandings. Get ready to dodge all the asteroids flying your way. Jump up, duck down, lean left, lean right, clap to fire. Here we go. Getting gifts is one of the best parts of celebrating Christmas. But what makes Christmas even better is understanding why we celebrate. Everything about Christmas is a reminder of God's love for us through the gift of Jesus. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, God planned to send his son, Jesus, to come save us from the wrong things we do. He didn't send Jesus as a stormtrooper or a Jedi Knight. He didn't come with a deep voice like Darth Vader or in the Millennium Falcon like Han Solo. No, God planned for Jesus to come to Earth as a baby. God also chose a young woman named Mary to be the mother of Jesus and sent an angel to give her a very important message. At first, Mary was so afraid, but the angel said to Mary, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you. The angel explained how God had chosen Mary to be the mother of his son. She was amazed to think that God would love her in such an incredible way. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. Joseph was not very happy to hear that Mary was pregnant, which is understandable since they weren't married yet. But God sent an angel to Joseph in a dream. The angel told Joseph, Don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. He began to explain that Joseph and Mary were going to have God's son and to name him Jesus, because he would save the world from their sins. A census was issued by the king for everyone to go to their hometown in order to be counted. Joseph was from the town of Bethlehem, so he took Mary and they made the long journey home. When they arrived in Bethlehem, the time came for Jesus to be born. There weren't any hospitals or guest rooms available in town, so with nowhere else to go, Joseph and Mary made their way to a stable. Even though it may seem odd that God's son would be born in a place where animals ate and slept, it was exactly what he had planned. Meanwhile, God sent angels to some shepherds in the fields nearby. The angels told them, Don't be afraid. We have good news that will bring great joy to all people. The shepherds left immediately for Bethlehem. When they saw Jesus, they thanked God for the great gift of his love. That's why we celebrate Christmas each year. God loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to save us from our sins. You can know that you are loved by God, and that is the greatest gift of all. Hey crew, let's play a game. Listen to the song and try to guess the missing words.
father, good, good father. And we're all his sons and daughters. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We can always stick together, though we're different from each other. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. And God loves me and God loves you. In his family, there is room for our brothers, for our sisters. We are family. Let's forgive and get along. Cause together we are strong. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. Perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. So we learned a very familiar story about the birth of Jesus Christ. Well, God gave us Jesus to show us how much He loved us. So what I want for you all to do is remember throughout this week to show someone love. So let's say it together. I am loved. Love you life kids and we will see you next week.